Welcome back to the channel guys. So I talked about this a couple times during my Nuzlocke videos. Um, things didn't exactly go as planned as I wanted to for Mega March. Uh, I had, you know, four regular review slash retrospective videos planned out, but the script for the second video just kind of fell a little short. I just really didn't like it at all. Uh, so I might still do one more video before the end of the month, but I figured one of the games I wanted to talk about uh, Mega Man Battle Network, I'll just turn into a Let's Play instead. So yeah, uh, let's go ahead and go through that. It's, you know, can be a little nice variety to the content on my channel instead of just Pokemon Nuzlocke. Same thing, uh, I'll probably bring back Buried in the Backlog for a couple of one-off games that I'm still playing right now. But let's get to it. Lan. You don't get up, you'll be late for school. Pet Net News. WWW Crime on the Rise. I think they call them World 3 in the dub. Which is a lot easier than just WWW. You got me up from Dad, too. Look. Sorry I couldn't get off work Sunday. I'll be home soon. Here's a present for you. It says there's some battleship data attached. Hmm, I was having a great dream too. I'll expand the chip data, so check your pet later. Good old, uh, Lan Hikari. I'm surprised more games didn't do the kind of style of battle tactics to this. There's like that new one, or fairly new, I guess. I, I forget when it came out. I want to say it's Code of Uten? I don't know. I'll look it up and put it in the tags. I, I want to try it. I heard it's a lot harder than regular Mega Man Battle Network, though. To start to see chip data and read mail. Land got an AI navigation program. Mega Man.exe. Oh, I wonder what kind of creepy pastas he has. Land, good morning. Morning, Mega Man. If you need to talk to me, just press the L button. Okay, let's get to school. Check your mail again. Yeah, I like this UI for it. I haven't played this game. In forever? Yeah, I know I say that a lot with all these games that, that I play, but the first Battle Network I played, I definitely played as a ROM. Like, the only, the first Battle Network I actually owned was Battle Network 3, uh, blue version. Uh, I didn't play the original until, like, years after that, um, and even then I couldn't tell you how long ago that was. Definitely still a kid, so insert 10 to 15 years ago. But this one's a huge blank for me. Uh, let's see, net news. Crime on the rise. I'll be home soon. Here's a present for you. Use it well. Okay, cross gun and chip. Let me see really quick. Okay, can I like jack in yet? Alright, let me do that. How do I jack in? Okay, that makes sense. Alright. I also always liked Land's Room, because uh, it always had all these references to other Mega Man games. Like, you got Legends poster right up here. Like, I think that's actually, like, uh, supposed to reference Legends 2. Hmm. Alright, let's get to school. So this first episode's probably going to be a bit longer than usual. Uh, I know with the Pokemon ones, I keep it to about half an hour. Seeing as this is an RPG and is as long or longer than your average Pokemon game, I don't really know how long Battle Network is. Uh, I may make the episodes longer. Worst case, I'll just trim them down and add voiceover where I need to. Hey, Mom. Good morning, Lan. Morning, Mom. Breakfast is on the table. I've eaten. I never really liked these character portraits, at least maybe in the first game, because, like, his mom looks a little faded, like, desaturated. Even Land doesn't really look that colorful. Oh, nice. Do I have to actually, like, add this to my... folder or whatever? Um... Uh... 
I got a cross gun C. And what was it? Recover 10? Because I know you have to, like, match these, uh... What do you want to call it? Letters in order for them to stack? And then... Yeah, I remember you had to mix and match the letters in order for them to stack, and then depending on which ones you use, you can get that program advanced. Uh, I'm gonna switch one of these out with a C. I don't know that it's different, but... We'll see what happens. Let's get to skew. Oh, it's a male. Male yeah, it looks grumpy. No one asked you to wait for me. Did you just say something? Come on, let's go. Yeah, even male looks a little desaturated. I kind of hate that you don't know, know uh, don't have their names like right under their portrait because it's kind of easy to forget. Not too much to talk about. She's got a lot to talk about. You just listen. You right, Mega Man. You right. It's more confusing too if you watch like the dub of the show because like a lot of characters had their names changed around. I think just out of laziness to fit the mouth flaps or whatever. Because Mail became Meilu, which I guess is technically the right translation of her Japanese name Meiru. But then a lot of like uh, net navvies had their names changed for like to make them less violent or more violent or something. I know Metal Man became Heavy Metal Man, which seems really stupid. Oh my god, what is wrong with this kid's face? He's like Kermit the Frog. And I didn't know this at first until I went back to play uh, Mega Man Legends 2, but Yai's a reference to that? Like, she's the weird-looking girl in uh, the mayor's house in the second game. Which is, like, the most random thing to reference. And then her Na Navi Glide is a reference to, like, the villains in that one, too. So I'm like, alright, that's weird. Let's see. Alright, then there's this ugly ass guy. Dex. Go away, guy. Oh yeah, I'm gonna bring the pain, bro. Let's begin class. Fire is busting. Uh, neck crimes on the rise. Extra mark for checking your neck news. It's important that we all know how to fight viruses. It's kind of funny that this like almost projected like cybercrime in a way, because like everything here has like access to the internet, and now your freaking microwave and refrigerator can connect to the internet. Why would the World Three bother with you anyways, Dex? Why you land? Quiet in the class. In common virus called them a tool. Check in your pet so your net navy can access the net. Alright. Let's get to the tutorial. Yeah, this whole combat style. Like, no one's used it since Battle Network until this new game. Code of Eden. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Got it. Okay, shows the chip data, shows the attack rating. Alright, it's like straightforward stuff. HP. Uh, tell me how to do a program advance. One chip at a time, but you can send multiple chips of the same. multiple copies of the same chip. Okay, yeah, I knew that. Two or three cannons. This will let you use more weapons and fight much better. Press the R button to see an explanation of a chip. Alright, let's do cannon. Cannon again. Yeah, I think I remember like one of the more fun things about this game was like building your folder. Because then you could easily have like one turn wins, which was like awesome. It, you know, it basically feels like a card game. Uh, move your navy up, down, and left. Yep. Shoot with the B button. Yep. HP. Now, how do I use my chip? You can only use it once, so be careful. Oh, 
Okay, right, and then you can access the folder when that bar fills up. Alright, that was easy. I kinda wanna do that battle with Gutsman now. Tell you about support chips. Not all chips are weapons. Steel chip will increase the area that your now is able to move in. That I knew. Close force sword, this would be a strategy. Okay, so that was right. So if you have the same code for different chips, it'll let you stack them. Yeah. This is probably the one I remember the least about. Because, uh, like I said, 3 was probably my favorite. 4 was the absolute worst. And I vaguely remember 5 and 6 because they had pretty good plots. Mm, I guess I can't pick another At the very least, it gives you, like, just good strategies to use instead of just brute-forcing your way through everything. Alright. Let me get some of that nit navy data. I remember some net navvies being like real bullshit because they'd have like an aura up that had like uh, 100, 200, 300 HP and you had to like brute force your way through the aura before you could actually hurt them and then they would just bring it back up after a couple turns. I remember base was like that. Increase the number of chips that you can use to make comp- okay there we go. Program advance. See the add button at the bottom right. If you select this button without choosing any chips, you will have to fight for one turn without chips, but on your next turn, you'll be able to select from 10. Do this one. Ah, oh, it's basically like just skipping your turn. For this test, you'll need to use all the techniques I've just taught you to delete a virus. Good luck. Uh, I actually want to see if I can get up to anything good with 15, so let's do that. I feel like this bar needs to fill up fast. Uh, should I do it now? I'll do it one more, because I remember if you combine the swords, you could do a program advanced. So if I get like the other two, I should be able to do it. Yeah, no program advanced. All right, so what do I do? A, B, A. Eh, okay, whatever. I'm guessing I can't do a program advanced yet anyways. Probably just don't have the right chips. But I remember swords was, it was like regular sword, wide sword, and long sword. And then you could do like this cool, like AoE sword attack. I could go home. Alright, yeah, let's do this. do add again. Let's see what happens. I don't remember if this fight is meant to be tough. Ah. All right, he could crack stuff. Uh... I'm going to do two cannons. And then see what happens. Ah, damn it, he moved out of the way. Oh, I got rid of the other ones. Crap. Alright, I'm gonna do two swords and hope for the best here. Yeah, that was done.
Oh, wait, he takes out the whole thing? Yikes. Get closer. Gotcha, bitch. Okay, so... Gonna need something better here. Okay, sweet, they do come back. Ah, you got me good. Uh, I'm gonna try and steal. Uh, I'm getting hurt pretty bad. Try and steal some of his panels just so I can have more room to run around. Yeah, eat my ass, guts man. Okay, he's almost got me, so I'm gonna need to hit him with like a cannon or something. Oh, you know what? This is probably the best way to do it. I'm just gonna wait for him. Gotcha, bitch. Aw, oh, man. I was hoping I got, like, a chip for that. Whatever. You suck, Dex. I wonder if I can, like, find just random chips in the room. Thank you. Yeah, they got really lazy with the NPC designs. Like, anyone who actually has a name looks fine, but everyone else just looks like trash. Oh, power-up program. Them, so you use what you need. Also press pets R button to call your net navy in the net. Jacking out. Oh well, thanks, Miss Mari. Okay. Hello, Mr. Homeless Man. Can you give me uh, a chip? Would you please ask me where we are? Wait, why would I ask you that? And Yai lives in this giant ass mansion, just randomly placed here. You get it, you're rich. Uh, I guess I'll just go back to my house. You got it. Net safety is checking our home control panel. Oven's exploding and stuff. Ah, oh, wait. I think this guy is part of World 3. I think a virus might be responsible for the accident, so we're checking every home's control panel just to be safe. See, that's how they get ya. Go to your room and you'll get in the way. Jack in. Mega Man T.exe. I kind of want to look up if Mega Man.exe does have a shitty creepypasta like Sonic.exe. It seems like the most obvious one to do considering it's his actual name, but I don't know. Uh, access the net. Okay, yeah, I remember that this was pretty cool. Oh, yeah, all the battles are randomized. Oh, man, I wasted both. Okay, oh, you know what? I should use this shot. Okay, so this guy's whole gimmick is that he's just fast, so I'd probably need like the wide sword or something to get him. Alright, 
I'll just wait till he pops up in front of me. Gotcha. Okay. Nice. Okay, that was the other thing. You get a bit of XP, and then you get, like... Not XP, you got money, and then you can get chips depending on how good you did in battle. There you go, that's, uh, Glide. Yeah, he was, uh... I guess one of the villains who teamed up with the Bonds in the second game. One of those programs that got lost. I have some pressing chores to do. I must return now. Mega Man, if we could happen to find our program, could you please come by our network? At EI. Neat. Okay. You're pretty shitty, uh, net navy glide. You'd think you could actually help. How do I get to this guy? Okay, these guys give me cannons. I know that much. Uh. I think this one I can lob? Yeah, like that. Alright, so I just get some extra cash. I don't really know how they determine these busting levels or whatever they're called, but... Oh, this is so weird. That's gotta be like an S rank, right? No? Alright, I don't know how you get this busting level then. Oh, it's spooky ghost door. You would think we'd report this to the police or something. Oh, okay, so this guy's gotta be the program I'm looking for, right? How the hell do I reach you? Bad draw. I think later on there's like chips you can find that like you can always guarantee that you draw them first or something. Alright, this has got to be the way to him. Let me check something with my folder. So I got cannon A, cannon B. Uh, alright, I already have that. Never mind. I was getting ahead of myself and thought I could do a program advance again. Uh... Alright, I just need you guys all to stand in a single line. Oh, you're a merchant? Oh, that's annoying. Uh, I can't afford shit. Okay, whatever. I was hoping that was the guy I was supposed to be looking for, but I guess not. Ah, it must be you. Alright, now how do I get to Yai's portrait network? Cannon C, and I'm pretty sure that's the one. Connection to another terminal, or you don't know the address, so you can't open it. Okay, so that one's not Yai's. Alright, so hers has got to be back somewhere else. This way? I guess that's kind of my problem with this game. It's like a little obtuse with the direction you're supposed to go. Maybe like a mini-map. I get that I'm just dumb, but still. Ah, uh, okay, so I gotta stack them two for...
Okay, Shockwave is actually pretty awesome, so let me see what I can put in there for that. Yeah, see, sword, wide sword, and then I need a long sword. Uh, I'm gonna get rid of X-Pal. I feel like steel's way better. Okay, maybe this one's the one for Yai. Nice. You can now freely enter here. Sweet. Alright, nice. Does that mean I could just casually log out? I uh, wonder if Glide's network has anything. I remember these guys. They always reminded me of Harpuya. I don't know if that's a reference to them or not, just because of their look, but I always thought it was cool. I'm gonna need like the sword in order to do it. Okay. I keep getting like the shittiest cards right now. Maybe I should have just stacked them. I don't know. I just want to grab whatever items are just dropped here and get the hell out of here. Uh. I think maybe when I fight the like higher tier enemy then I can get the good one. swap out that all these 10 heals for like this better one here you know what I'm just gonna do an add and hope for the best because all I really need is two cannons to hit him I wanted, but I think this should be enough. I didn't realize like there's like this whole little lag between when you use chips, so I'm guessing it's just its way of uh, stopping you from steamrolling everything, but it's kind of annoying. Oh my god. She got me. I'm really hoping there's like an item or something that let me just skip encounters later on. Like I said, that's one of those things I just don't remember about this game. I know, like, the the encounter rate was huge, but... Alright, if I don't make it to the end of this and get into another fight, I'm out of here. 
Alright, I think that orb at the end is my way out. This one will be pretty useful. Uh, does it stack with anything else I have? It does not. Ah, I missed him. Got him. Oh, nice, and I got his card, too. Sweet. Okay, let me the hell out of here. Wait, was this not it? Okay, sweet. Let's eat our snack. Repairman said it was fixed, but it's on fire. This is pretty suspicious, guys. Hologram program's here, but something's wrong. Be careful, a virus comes out, it'll send chip data. Alright, so there's a program that lives in here. I also love this that you could just save everywhere. And you don't have to worry about jacking in. I wonder if this is gonna be like the whole first encounter with a boss? Like am I about to fight like Fireman? Another shockwave. You alright, little guy? Oh, nice. Is that eat? Why would you not have any antivirus features? I get that you're an oven, but come on. That's just dangerous. actually tried that other game that I was talking about, uh, like the spiritual successor for this one, for Buried in the Backlog, because I did download it like a while ago, I just haven't had a chance to actually play it. Uh, what do I want to pair it with? You know what, let me get rid of two of these cross guns, because Shockwave like has such good range. Can I get out through here? Still the same guys. Uh, you said I needed ice block in order to do this. Is this thing? Ah, oh, no, he died.
Mechard. All right, so south, I guess. Where's the ice thing I need? Okay, nice. Okay, so it's like a puzzle. I gotta figure out which fires to take out. Come on, really? Did I just die? I knew it was this guy. I work for World 3, silly kid. Saw the other explosions. Pretty smart, me and my navy do good work, huh? Sorry, but you gotta join your navy, you can't escape. Oh, what an asshole. Alright, so now I gotta switch to land and like figure out how to take out this fire, I guess. Uh... Where do I go? Where do I go? Where do I go? Can we on the control panel? Toolbox. All right, thank you, Lan. A water gun? I mean, don't you guys own a fire extinguisher? This seems extremely dangerous. Get up, Mega Man. All right, uh, I gotta figure out which fires to get past. I'm in control area, that's where I need to go. It's too bad I can't get any like water based uh, chips or something, because I know Element plays in this, this as well. Uh, let's see here. Shotgun Q. Which way am I supposed to go? This be like the last one I need. I'm in control section. Summer's with the master navy. No, that guy. Oh. All right, I already see him. It's Fireman. I also like that I get healed after every battle, like I don't have to like collect potions or anything. Uh, I am gonna save right now though, cause that guy lo looks like he's gonna wreck my shit. Uh, 
I mean, is this better than the regular bomb? Because yeah, Minimom is like a 50. And then... You know what? I don't know. I'm gonna just swap it and try it out. I think I'm good on everything else. Uh, let me use Dash too, actually. Alright, let's take out Fireman. Who are you? You're a World 3 Net Navi, aren't you? Mere mischief ends here. Haha, uh -huh, so you're the Navi for this house. You think your kid operator can beat Mr. Match? Guess we'll just have to fight you and find out. Get our chips ready. I think in the dub for the anime they renamed him Torchman. Like Fireman says. Like, I don't really get why. I, didn't, I mean, he looks like a torch, but come on. Who me? No way. Battle program set. Execute. I think maybe they just didn't want actual firemen to look bad. Don't hold me to that. I just, I think it's a stupid thing. The dub is weird. I did like watching the show as a kid, like, uh, more sub than anything. Like, I used to record the, like, actually find the episodes, um, whatchamacallit, online and just, like, compress them with Windows Movie Maker to, like, uh, like give away or like put up online on this for Mega Man Battle Network forum I was a part of. I was like maybe 14, I think. Nice. Uh, okay, so that's how his attacks work. Okay, how are these gonna explode? Just stand still long enough for me to hit you. Nah, I missed. Uh... Yeah, why do I still have an L panel? Alright, I'm gonna hopefully get lucky with this shot. Okay, dodge that. That was lucky. I'm just gonna heal up just in case. Alright, like he's not bad, but he really just pushes you into like... He's... or tries to push you into his fires, I wanna say. So he tries to box you in. That's what I'm trying to say. Okay, yeah, this would be enough, so I just need him to stand still long enough for me to hit him. Got him. Alright, that's not too bad. I know when they get, like, their SP or, like, Omega forms or some shit like that, these guys are, like, absolute beasts. How can a kid and his puny Navi delete Fireman? Oh, I killed him? Neat. I thought I just beat him up and he went home. At least I finished my mission. What do you mean? This is just the first step in World 3's plan. Setting my house on fire? You dick. I found the program we need for our plan and set the oven in your house. Probably shouldn't have told you that. That's kind of a weird thing to have hidden in there. But who cares? Soon war will start and you'll be all, all be dead. See ya. Wait, program? War? What's he talking about? Uh, I think his dad had like some secret program he was working on. Like I vaguely remember the plot of this. Great work back there. Yeah, you too, Mega Man. You're worried, aren't you, about World 3? Yeah, there's just so much I don't understand. Well, it was only the first time we fought them. But they'll never control the net, not if I can help it. But Mega Man, what can we do? What can you do? Try calling the police, dude. Terrorists blew up your house. Tried to steal some kind of secret data or something. We'll wait and get them when they come. Come on, man. Okay, but first, Mom, I'm hungry. Can I have a snack? I'm surprised you didn't call the fire department, come to think of it. Alright, now's a pretty good spot to end it, so... 
Thanks for watching guys. Uh, it's fun to kind of just play something a little different for the channel that isn't Pokemon or just another one-shot game. Uh, like I said, I really wanted to just do a full-on video and talk about Battle Network, you know, its story, the differences between the original and this one, you know, Battle Networks is like an alternate universe where they built the internet instead of like robots. And I felt like I did have a decent amount to talk about with this game. But I just kind of ran out of time for what I wanted to do, so instead I'll just play through it and then somewhere down the line I can make a kind of retrospective of it, so at the very least I'll just hold on to my footage just in case. But again, thank you for watching. If you like my content, i appreciate it if you leave a like down below, comment down below. If you want to see more, watch me do my Pokemon Nuzlocke or play other games, i appreciate it if you subscribe. I'm Fuzzy Slippers, and I'll see you later. Peace.